Anyways. For today's Lauren Talks, we are going to be talking about bullying and labeling people because that is not a fun thing. Advice, well, kind of like advice for college and high school graduates. And the big Q, what inspires you? And yes, I was a poet and did not know that. So we're going to go ahead. Get into the first topic, which is bullying and labeling people. This is something that truly does push my buttons in not a very nice way. In life, you know, there's always bullies that like just to sit there and just irritate our skin, like just like want to get into our skin. And me in life, I've had to deal with bullies that they're not fun people to deal with. Middle school was rough. Mid elementary and middle school were very rough on me. If I had to deal with those kind of bullies and losing friends and stuff, and it kind of hurt. And it was not a fun thing to deal with. I got bullied for really stupid stuff I'm not even going to mention because it's like really stupid now thinking about it. But to be bullied, it's like not fun. It's not... And bullying in this world, you know, people, you know, we had many different things related to bullying. Like, you know, if you remember, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember what his name was. There was this song by um, Rise Against. It's um, called Re- I don't know. Make It Stop September's Children. That's the song I was thinking of. And that song is in relation to bullying. And if you've ever seen that video, I'll link it down below for you. Because it's a really good video and the song's amazing. I love the song myself. And it's in relation to bullying. And those are bullied for their label, for their sexuality, and stuff like that. It's just not a fun thing to realize. It's not a fun thing to go through in life. And it's horrible. You know, if you're somebody out there that's bullying someone, you're going to feel lots of regret later on i will tell you that right now and you know don't be a bully nobody needs to be a bully in life it's never a fun thing to go around and do now into the second part of that which is labeling people basically you're sitting there oh you know let's go let's go do with an example here you know let's just let's just label that person i don't like to say the words because i really don't feel comfortable saying the words but let's label that guy the that particular word that they usually mostly call gay people, the six letter F word that I absolutely hate. Let's just call them that for example. Why do you sit there? You don't have no specific right to judge anyone for their, who they are as a person. You have no specific right to judge that. And you know, it's not fun to get labeled for something that you don't even know if they have it or not. And and you guys know I have anxiety. I deal with... Uh, not. It's not super... It's like a... Not really kind of in the autism spectrum. But I do deal with a mild form of autism. Which makes me socially awkward. Which is not fun. But I never... Weirdly, I never got bullied for that kind of stuff. And... I was always bullied for, you know, being shy. Like, well, let's just point out to the shy girl. It's not, it's not a fun thing to get pointed at for that. It's not fun. It's highly embarrassing, if you ask me. It's just never a fun thing to deal with. And don't label a person. If you want to label something, go label food. Label food or label furniture, but don't label a person. Labeling a person is just not going to make yourself any better. It's only going to make yourself feel bad. And I'm kind of in like a nice rant, you know? I'm in a good mood today filming this for you guys. But the next thing, it's kind of like advice for college, high school grads. I have a lot of people in my life that are graduating this year. My my sister and my cousin and my second cousin, they're all graduating this year. It's just like, wow. It's a lot of people. A lot of people this year. And... I wanted to give some advice because, you know, this is important. And the first piece of advice I'm going to do is it's what you always hear after you leave college or high school. It's a big world out there and you're just getting started. 
and basically the world's pretty scary after you get out of high school. I realized that when I graduated and from high school will be five years next month that I graduated from high school. Pretty weird. I know it is. Pretty weird. But it's a pretty scary world once you get out there and realize what you want to do. You know, if you have a set plan in stone, you know, good for you. You you have something you want to do with your life, you know. Going to college is a good thing, you know. My sister went to college. My dad went to college. He went to Georgetown. He got a degree in electrical engineering. He does computer stuff. And... Which is awesome. My mom chose not to go to college. That was her decision. And me, I don't. Really, I'm hesitant about college. It's something with the social aspect, hence the social awkwardness part. But college is something maybe in my future. You know, something I want to do. And you know, some people don't have the right fit. For college, my best friend did not, <laughs> and so she worked. And you know, she's a. She does what she wants to do with her life, and everybody has the right with it. Anyways, <laughs> but you have the right to do what you want with your life. It's what you want to do with it. And make sure you know you have everything you want set. Now, the second piece of advice is, this is for my college people out there, because I have two people in my life that are graduating from college this year. So I was like, I'm going to put this in here because I want to... Um, know what major you want and stick to that. My sister is following in my dad's footsteps with the computer and the electrical engineering. That's what she wants to do. But then halfway through the year, she realized, oh, I want a different major. So, and, you know, it's okay to change your major as long as it's like a minor. If it's a minor, it's not really, I don't think it's that bad. I don't know, people. Forgive me. But I don't know because I've never been to college. <laughs> I've only been in high school. As long as, you know, you have your major, then you have your minor, so you know what you're going to minor in. Minor, minor can be something small, a major is like something big. That, I know. <laughs> I'm learning. But um, as long as you know what you're wanting to major in for college, that's a good thing. And know that. And the last piece of advice, enjoy the life you have post high school and college because it, you know... It'll get harder as you get through high school, post high school, because you won't have to wake up every day for school, and you won't have to sleep in, which is the best perk about being out of high school. But you get to sit there and enjoy a world that is amazing to live in. And there was this verse I read in Proverbs 3. And yes, I've been reading my Bible. I've been very active about reading it. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. And now that verse when I leave this town I keep keep thinking that it's not good really stuck with me. I really like that verse cuz he's going to make your paths straight. He knows what the, he knows what path he wants you to lead on. He wants you to lead on to a beautiful, healthful life. And that's what he wants for your future after you get out of college and get out of high school. That's what he wants you to do. And But it'll be easier as long as you've got the right mindset. That's the key thing is the right mindset. If you don't have the right mindset, it's going to go down. It's just not going to work at all. I don't think it will. All right. The next thing is the big Q, which is what inspires you? So it's like sticking with like, Kind of like the advice I was mentioning in the last part of this video. But the big Q, what inspires you? There's many things. You should have a few... Th I cannot talk today. <laughs> but you should have something that inspires you to get up out of bed every day. Motivate yourself to get up and enjoy life. You know what motivates me in the morning? Getting up out of bed and making myself a really good breakfast. That's always motivating for me because I like to cook. And... What also motivates me is that you guys know, and if you haven't seen my love life updates video, I will link it if you hadn't seen it. But I have been doing daily walks with my dog Hyatt. It will be day 18 as I'm filming this video for you today. 
that we're walking and now it's been really 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 awesome i have an app i use to walk him it's called map my walk if you want to use it and it's a great app because the most i've done on there is 12 and a half miles <laughs> i know it's like wow lauren's done a lot of miles but it's good it's good for me to get up and motivate myself to exercise because i have a hard time motivating myself to exercise in the morning but inspiration is out there you know there's something that could inspire you to you know be a better person like you know do a random act of kindness that's something that i've always had with me i'm usually nice to people like you know i remember going to walmart one day and helping out an elderly woman put her groceries up on the cash register the thingamajig the register whatever the frick it's, frick it's called i helped her with her groceries because she couldn't put them up there so i went and did that for her and I remember going to see Harry Potter with my dad and going to a Hot Topic and having a random conversation with the cashier or the stores person or whatever and we talked about Harry Potter and like what our favorite books were, our favorite characters and this and that and it was just very fun and usually I like to compliment people and things like that. It's just a niceness trait I have. That's something that inspires me to be a better person is kindness and niceness because that's always great traits to have. But, I want you guys to answer me in this in the comment below. Comments below. What inspires you? That's what I would like to know. What inspires you guys? That's the most important thing. And, and I'm filming this video ahead of time for Mother's Day. And I wanted to get this video up in time to do something to add in for Mother's Day. But I wanted to do a little shout out to my mom. Because she is an amazing woman and a beautiful creator, and she is a she's a wonderful human, and I love her to death. This video will probably be up after I for Mother's Day. I don't know when exactly I'm gonna upload it, but I love my mom to pieces. She is a, an amazing human being. I wanted to give her a little shout out because you know I love my mom to death, and yeah, I love my mom. Love you, mom. I love you. But anyways, <laughs> I feel so giddy doing that for my mom. But anyways, leave me a comment down below. What inspires you? You know, what's a great inspiring thing for you? And I will... Okay, I can't talk. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. When I said that I wanted to feel in Hollywood. I told him I'd be